welcome to another math tutorial. Today's topic is creating a frequency polygon in Microsoft Excel. It's something we do in statistics classes. So we're going to learn how to enter the data into Excel and then turn it into what we call a frequency polygon. So the first thing I'm going to do is switch to Microsoft Excel and then you want to type in your data and let's we put it in columns so what I'm going to do is arrange them age and frequency is what we'll graph. It was an example we actually did in class um, in the fall 2009 semester. So taking age and frequency we had these uh, midpoints of the classes representing each of the age classes, so 32, 37, 42, 47, and 52 were the midpoints. And then we had the frequency counts of how many people fill into each category. So we had one person who is in that first class, two in the second, eight in the third, and so on. So what you do first is you enter your data into Excel, and you can put it anywhere in this spreadsheet, but just at the beginning here is fine. And line them up in columns, and then what you want to do is select all of what you just entered, nothing more than that. So I click first in age, I hold down the mouse button, and I drag all the way to the right to the bottom to number two, and I let go. So you can see I've highlighted all of the, tech, the numbers and the labels that I've entered here. Now what you're going to do next is you're going to go to the top of your, uh, pro, to your menu bar, and you're going to choose insert chart. I let go. And in the newer version of, of Office here in Excel, it show, gives me all these choices. Um, yours may look a little different, but what you're looking for is something that has line in it or shows a line graph. So I'm going to click on line, and I have a bunch of different choices here. Um, for my frequency polygon, I want to graph the lines, but I also want to show the dots. So I want to show the points and the lines that connect them. So I'm going to choose this option here, the fourth one shown. If I click on that, it automatically generates this graph here for me. But what you're going to find is that the graph is not exactly what you want. You see, it's actually treating the age and the frequency as two different graphs. And then for x values, it's putting these just these counts, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that's not at all what we want. So the bad news is it automatically creates something that isn't really what you want. But the good news is it's not that difficult to fix it. So what you want to do first is, if you're on a, on a PC, you would right-click while your mouse cursor is over, over this graph somewhere. On a Mac, if you don't have a right button, you could hit Control-click. Okay, just gonna hit, hold down Control and click. Or again, on a PC, right-click. And then you've got all these options. What we want to pick is the option involving data, select data. In other versions of Excel, it might say data source or source of data, something along those lines. So we'll select data, and then what you basically have going on here is on the left, these are what are going into your Y values, into your heights. And the problem here is we have both of them, both age and frequency, being treated like your height values. We only wanted frequency to be the height. We want age to be the X values. So what I'm going to do here is click on age, and I'm going to hit remove. Remove that from being a Y value. And you can already see, if I pull this aside, that it's starting to look more like what we're expecting to see. But I still have an issue. So my frequency is fixed, but down here on the x-axis, these are not the ages like they're supposed to be. Okay, so that's still a problem. Well, I'm not done yet. So over here, you see where it says category x-axis labels. That's asking me where I want my x values to come from. I want to change that to show it what the actual x values are that I want. Okay, so what, what I have to do here is I have to move my graph over just a little bit because I have it too far, too far in one direction here. Okay, so move this over just a little bit so I can see my age values. And I'm going to go back to that right click, select data. If you click in the x axis label box, then it's asking you what you want to be your x values. So I'm going to tell it I want these 32 through 52 to be my values. So I'm going to click in the box that says 32. Don't click in the box that says age. I specifically want the numbers here. So click in the box that says 32. Hold down your mouse button. Don't let go. And drag down until you've covered down to 52. Then let go. Now click OK. And you see it's already took the cell numbers, so it's going to fix it all up. 
And then if you look at our picture here, our frequency uh, polygon is now the way we want it. Over here on the vertical axis, we have the frequency that counts. And over here on the horizontal, we have those class midpoints, the ages. So this is really the picture we want. And the nice thing about doing this in Microsoft Excel is you could now take this graph, you could just right click on it or and hit copy and then you could go into Microsoft Word and you could paste it and you could have it right inside a project or a paper that you might be writing. Okay, so that's a, a really quick uh, run through for how to do a frequency polygon in Microsoft Excel.